Howdy y'all, Michael here. Today is Sunday, August 18th, 2024. My car uh, temperature is saying it's 101 outside. I just checked my phone. It's actually 94. It takes a little while for it to adjust. I thought today I saw the end of my channel. I thought that last video that I filmed was going to be my last video because I lost the batteries to my cabin G7X I'm talking to you all right now. And buying new batteries would not necessarily be the best idea. Just going through my head here. Uh, the batteries are about $50 a piece and you really don't want third party batteries. You want the original Canon batteries. They last a lot longer and uh, uh, as far as their entire lifespan as well as how long you can record with them. Well, I lost my batteries and I was like, okay, uh, this G7X is three or four years old now. Three years, I, I guess. I'm going to say three years. And if it dies, what's the point of spending a hundred, $150 on new batteries? It doesn't make sense. Now, I love the Canon G7X. They don't make them anymore. And so that's, that's a problem. Uh, they uh, are now running about a thousand to twelve hundred maybe even fourteen hundred dollars online because they're the last of the breed so a lot of vloggers who relied on this camera and there are a ton of vloggers that rely on this camera a lot of youtubers have switched over to the um, DJI uh, OM uh, Pocket 3 I had to think about that OM Pocket 3 which is their little gimbal cameras like on a stick they just got a little camera on top that's incredibly sharp incredible audio and they get it with the um, with the creators package so you got the mic that's on the handle itself you got an extra battery you got the tripod that goes with it and you have an external mic that you can take what 200 500 feet away and continue to have audio there so it's got some incredible stuff. I love to have that camera, but uh, right now the price is $669 for that camera. I've seen it as high as $700 uh, B H photo or uh, out of that camera, but that is my new dream camera. But I love this G7 X. It's done a great job. Losing the batteries for it, I thought my channel was over. So it's been a couple weeks since I've done a video. I figured I need to get out. I don't know where I'm going yet. I need to figure that out, but I need to get out. It's just one of those things. It is so hot. This AC is not even cold yet because it's blowing the heat out of the chambers there. It'll get cold once the cars cool down a little bit, but let's go hang out together. Come hang out with me. video you saw that I got a Costco membership and uh, I've been about three maybe four times I think three honestly I went to the one in Plano and then I went to the one in Frisco and I took my youngest son to Frisco just uh, yesterday so uh, I'm exploring new areas and taking different routes just trying to find where all the Costco's are because you know each one may carry different products just like any Walmart or Target or any other store that you go to. Right here on the corner of Teal and Wingate, it's a Village Lakes area. This is an HOA area. I don't live in the HOA area. Uh, I don't want to uh, because of restrictions with amateur radio. But I found this park 
Tiersons Acre Park. It says City of Frisco, so this is not the HOA's park, so the public is free to come here. Check it out. And it is a Sunday morning. I went to church last night. They had Saturday night services. It's kind of nice. So, uh, 6 p.m. and they said, okay, y'all have enjoy your dinner. Go on out to dinner with your friends. <laughs> that just sounds strange to me because usually you go to church in the mornings. <laughs> so that, that was kind of neat. But this is the park. It's not a huge park, but it's got some cool things around it. Okay, that's a new logo I haven't seen before, the Play Frisco logo. So the park hours are 30 minutes after sunset and 30 minutes before sunrise. They say throw away your trash, leash your pets, don't leave pet waste, no alcohol, no smoking, and organized camps, practices, and clinics require a permit. So that's kind of cool. And don't drink the irrigation water. It's not potable. And the benches here are some kind of composite. That's not wood. It's kind of a uh, plastic resin, probably some recycled items. But that is metal and it will burn you. Like I said, it's going to be over 100 today. Well, I didn't say that, but it will be over 100 degrees Fahrenheit here in Texas. We're having a streak of a hot summer. We get these every now and then. It's not every year that it's going to be super hot, but today's one of those years. But fortunately, we haven't had much rain recently, so we're in dry conditions right now, and that means means it's a dry heat. So you can cool off a lot faster. It's not as humid like you would have in Houston or New Orleans or someplace like that, where it's just going to be sticking to you. It looks like we got a little bit of a musical thing going here. See these have any volume to it? This one, now this one, it's not free floating. Looks like it's stuck to the side there, so it's not going to allow it to ring. It's got a good tone to it. Let's go check this one out. I'm guessing this is the name of the company or their logo of uh, their logo for the company that built this playground. This looks like tubes of some kind. I'm not sure what's going on there, but the kids have filled it up with the debris. I do appreciate the sun shades here in Texas does make a world difference just holding my camera here it's getting hot it's getting really really hot to the touch so I switched over to holding the handle here but they do have some areas where you can get out in the sun a little seesaw I guess it's gonna be a safety seesaw now that's something interesting on here from the seesaws of my youth pinch point that we always had down there where people could lose fingers was the the pivot there the vulc the vulcrum if I say that correctly but this one has a place you can stand on in the middle and it is too hot to use right now it's even got seat belts it looks like but no seat belts are being used it's different now it doesn't have the flow Oh yeah, it does. But it is spring-loaded, unlike the old sea sauce. Very different looking swings here. Very different. Okay, here's the name of the company that made it. It's called Landscape Structures. That's a little squeaky line there. And my gosh, that's hot. Nothing like the old standard swing set. Now this park may get a little bit more use. Because you do have a lot of shade here. And man, I appreciate shade. My kids were little when I was bringing them out here. 
this will be or bring him out to a park period this will be the kind of park i'd bring him out to with all that shade on top that's very nice in fact they're overlapping each other that makes it very very nice a little walls climb here bit of a plastic slide when i was a kid slides were metal you would burn yourself rings to crawl through kind of up in the air that's actually pretty neat but you still have structures that are outside in the heat no way no way is this really what i'm thinking it is it sure is they got an elliptical out here it's not electronic i don't think that's electronic is that an actual screen of some sort surely not or is this a used ellipt elliptical that they recycled that's kind of cool i almost wonder if they just recycled some parts off another one so that's set up to have all the electronics and everything on it. It works. We are in the day and age where you have to have rules here saying use of equipment is at your own risk. Everybody's too happy. But the city of Frisco assumes no responsibility to any injury that may occur. So be careful when you're on here. Don't be like a drunk fool on it. It actually had a screen on there. I wasn't expecting that. But I'll tell you this right now. I'm out of shape. I'm a bit out of shape right now. Like I think I twisted my back trying to do that while filming. So it used to be cattle country around here. Lots of cows. And they got a little cow right here. Talking to the rabbit right next to the flowers. Even got the bucket of her flowing with the delicious milk. Howdy y'all. Little basketball court out here. Those don't look like they're 10 foot, are they? Yeah, they may be 10 foot goals. I'm sure they are. But it's got the Play Frisco logo right there. And it looks like a concrete court. Very well appointed with some paint. Yeah, that definitely is 10 foot. A little eye trick back there with a the high school three point line here. High school and college ball. NBA is a little weird. They're straight and then it takes a sharp turn and it goes around. I want to say about three foot above the key here. But here's the center court and play Frisco. And they got chains up there. Very nice. From the playground with the exercise equipment to the basketball court. Looks like they got a backstop here. Way in the distance. I don't believe they have ever had a field out here. So I think that's just basically for batting practice for kids that want to do a little pitching. But the grass looks like it's never been disturbed and they probably never put sand down to make a baseball field out there. But plenty of field out there to enjoy running around and getting rid of your energy there. Like I said, it's a bit warm. I'm a bit out of shape and I need to move on. So. I just did a remote start in the car and let's find some place else to explore.
so I'm driving here on 423, uh, just trying to find another place to stop at and explore. And I do have a place up here that I'm going to get out at. But I kid you not, I saw this car. I'm trying to see if that's the person next to me. Yes, that is the person next to me, that white car right there. They had a bumper sticker that says, I eat glue. It says, I eat glue. And I was like, shocked. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> or just kind of chuckle, not really shot, just chuckle. And uh, and I was like, okay, that's a different sense of humor. And then I uh, got a little closer, and uh, you know that was down the bumper, and up on the right a little bit was another sticker. And it says, and it had a little yellow flower, and it said, "Bad driver, I'm trying to do the best I can." I was like, all right. So I pulled alongside the car. And the car, not the car, the car. And uh, when I pulled up at, beside her car, I had looked over, traffic stopped. She's texting. She's still texting right now. <laughs> She's having a long, engaged conversation. So, yeah, I appreciate the bad driver uh, bumper sticker, but I would appreciate it if you had that a little larger. And you know what? There's no point in texting and driving. You know, you can eventually get the tap of CarPlay, but I, I don't use it much, you know, when I'm driving. Unless it's something quick, say, hey, I'm driving, call you back. Or something like that. So, <laughs> bad driver. And I eat glue while texting. That's great. Looks like they're building some new stuff here. Now, I remembered that they were building a Costco out here. At least I thought I saw something about a Costco. And I want to apologize to Prep and Paul because as I was driving up here, I didn't see where that building was or the big sign saying Costco. Maybe the field to the right of me right here that's actually building that up. But and I saw an HEB. HEB is pretty cool. Can't film in there though. Uh, they have signs in the front door saying no cameras or uh, videoing allowed. So, dang, missed out on that because that's an incredible thing. Although I've seen some vloggers uh, post on it. I saw a British, uh, a couple of British guys post about it. But I'm sure they had permission to do it because uh, they weren't being sneaky about it. At least it didn't seem like they were that sneaky about it. So let's go check out this door. This is one of my favorite sports and outdoors stores called Academy. And it's more sports than outdoors, but I don't know, it's about 50-50. And this one's kind of a cool concept or a cool layout because it's newer, so it's a newer building. It's a few years old. I'm gonna say maybe three, maybe four. But they got some good, pretty good pricing on things in here. being different they have more of a warehouse feel here but this whole side right here is sports and clothing and things such as that and then over here is more outdoor stuff so I'm gonna say 50 50 they got the fishing section here some of the bigger gear as well kayaks they sell kayaks here it's kind of like a Shields or a Bass Pro Shop or Cabela's, but actually <laughs> decent price. You can get some good deals at those other places, and there's uh, harder to find stuff there as well. But uh, Academy, I think it's uh, Texas own. I, I want to say the first time I saw it was in Central Texas, and uh, I was amazed that the prices were near Walmart prices on a lot of things. Just switched my battery and this sucker is hot, 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 hot. Okay, I did pull muscle on my back on the elliptical, trying to film at the same time. Uh, it's a little sore, I need to scratch it out. Okay, I gave some temporary relief. Guys, remember to stretch before you exercise.
and uh, exercise often. Don't be like me and jump on something when you haven't exercised in a while. That's where you get your injuries, especially when you're trying to hold a camera at the same time when your arms and everything are supposed to be flinging with the machine. Not wise. I like this thing. Just sat down and tried it out. Maybe something broke there. I think something's supposed to be there. That's why it didn't feel quite right. Somebody probably plopped down too hard on it. Wasn't me. But I have a little device you're supposed to put down there. I'm not sure. Something is supposed to be in there. But I like the fact that it has tray tables on the side. I've seen these type seats before. But they need to have tray tables on it. Do we have it here? So all the chairs. And I am not seeing it here. I do like my uh, GC. GC is Golf Charlie chairs. It's a rocker. It's got little pistons on it. But I don't see this particular chair here anywhere. Okay, there's more over here. Tripod stools, definitely worth it. I got a handful of those. Even got one in the car right now. Okay, here's the, the GC brand chairs. Is it GC? Am I saying this wrong? GCI, there you go. GCI, freestyle rockers. So this is one of their versions of rockers, but it's got this piston on there. I got something a little bit better than that. Well, they're all about the same price. But, uh, they're comfortable. And they're easy to sit in. Still haven't found that chair yet. Okay, here's the GCI rockers. And I want to say I had the road trip rocker. Maybe. But it's got a high weight capacity. Now my weight capacity is about 250. So it's got to be gentle with it. Feature Michael here. Um, I was doing some editing inside the house here. I decided to get out into the garage to see what I had. So this is the GCI outdoor chair that I have. And this version is called the Comfort Pro Rocker. I don't know if I saw that on the list. I bought this particular one on Amazon. I did a lot of reading online before I selected the one I wanted because I wanted something that uh, was going to be as good all around as could be and something I can carry with me pretty easily. It is a pretty large chair. Um, it does fold up and has a strap on the side. You, you have another strap that keeps it together so you can carry it, but it's no small chair. It's built for comfort. So that's the one I got. Back to past Michael. They got plenty of hunting gear too. And this is the Magellan. Magellan's actually a pretty good gear. That's a little cheaper. I don't think I have any Magellan gear, but my oldest son Ryan does. And that's something I probably need to look at too, are the snake boots. Snakes won't bite through that when you're cutting around some grassy areas or some swap lands. You don't want to get bit. It's thick. They're not going to be able to get their teeth through that. Might be a good one right there. $109.99. Of course, you have to have the safety orange. So if you're hunting on a, a lease or private lands, your own place, you can wear camouflage. But you have to have so much orange on you if you're in public hunting lands. And Texas has got a ton of public hunting lands. You, can, you pay a fee for it every year. But when you go in and you come out, you gotta make sure that you let them know that you're in and out and let, let them know if you harvested anything. And earmuffs are a necessity for hunters even. I know a lot of them don't like to wear earmuffs, but I got a pair that you could hear everything just perfectly fine. You can even increase it to where you can hear a lot quieter sounds. Whenever the gun goes off, it mutes it. I got a digital pair and it does great. I actually had that pair of shoes in the back of my truck right now, or back of my Explorer. But plenty of trail shoes around here. 
I need to get out to walking trails again. I really miss doing that. Probably need something more like this. For almost stability. These are comfortable, and what's nice is they are uh, waterproof, I believe. Or maybe not. This one is definitely. Life's kind of a holding pattern right now, so it's kind of hard to make plans and buy things when every penny's counting right now. Otherwise, I'd be on the road uh, exploring and filming everything. They even have some e-bikes here now with the big fat tires. Don't see a price tag on those. Nope, that one's a thousand. So that's pretty uh, inexpensive for an e-bike. Something of that stature. Schwinn's got one. Schwinn used to be an American company, now it's Chinese owned, so. I bought some Schwinn's one time and they didn't last very long. Look at the size of that tire. Holy cow, there's my hand. I have an extra large hand for gloves, so. Probably better if I put my head next to this tire. Look how big that tire is. Holy cow. They have a nice little storm in the bikes in here. And they got some 12 and 14 foot trampolines here, which are the state bird of Texas during tornado season. I've heard of people uh, getting a new trampoline in their backyard and they have no clue where it came from. Oh, they got 16 foot trampolines right there. Plenty of pool toys. It's hot this week, so maybe some pool toys would be nice to play with. But. Not for me, I don't have a pool. Stadium seats. Got some uh, exercise equipment. Other water sports, not necessary for a pool. I guess you can use them in the pool. A body board. Darts. I do you have a electronic dart board? All kinds of backpacks. So a lot of school districts are now requiring clear backpacks. So we're starting to see more and more of those on shelves now. Lots of backpacks. We just got through the opening of school here. And more outdoor fun and games. Looks like a swing. Cornhole. Cornhole's big in Texas. Frisbees. Everything outdoor, but they're very well stocked because people aren't hanging outdoors in this heat. Speaking of Frisbees, this is not a Frisbee. This is a disc. They have quite a little section of disc right there. And it's the bottom that you'll see a lot of differences. Where this part is pretty thick and it's solid and I'll be in different shapes on the bottom so you have different discs for different needs this particular one is ten dollars just for that disc but they have some up there that are eighteen dollars and twenty dollars up in the top right there and I'm staying away from there because there's a lot of people working on tennis rackets right next to it but you even have your own carrying bag that you carry all these different size discs for disc golf is that what it's called disc golf yeah it's disc golf. I see it right there. In fact, you got starter sets right there. Five of them for uh, 15 bucks. So those are probably the cheap ones. Especially when you got a single one up there for $20. Correction, this uh, pack of five discs is actually $40. I was reading, reading the wrong tag there. 40 bucks. Okay, those people have uh, left, so I can get a little closer. But there's a mid-range one. And this is a, a putter, a prime putter, and it's pretty thick. But this edge is so different. And you got your bag to carry it, all your gear. Let's see what a $20 one does. This is really, really thick. People get real serious about this sport. I haven't tried it yet. And they got all the local teams here. Texas Rangers. The Dallas Cowboys. The 
Dallas Stars, Texas a and University of Texas. You know, two different versions of Texas a and the Dallas Mavericks. That's the blue here. There's some blue shorts for you. On clearance. And FC Dallas, which is the uh, soccer team. I'm looking for their gear. We have FC Dallas. There's another Dallas Stars there. The Frisco Rough Riders. That's a local farm team. It's owned by the Rangers. FC Dallas right there. There's a uniform. That is what we call soccer. You may call European football or worldwide football. It's just not the American football. FC Dallas. Been to a couple games uh, recently with my friend John. A lot of fun, very different vibe if you ever go to a soccer game over any other sport. So Academy is a pretty good store, pretty decent prices on everything, but they're building something right here. And I have no clue what that is. Could that have been the Costco sign that I saw? Surely it's not, there's not enough parking space for it. What are they building there? just across the street and that construction road was a little rough. I just noticed my camera was a slight different angle whenever I uh, pulled into parking space here. It's hot, it's hard to talk, it's so hot. My camera feels hot in my hand. All right, heading into HEB. A lot of HEBs have uh, signs up front that says no cameras. They got their own, so here just to pick up one thing hopefully they have it and uh, we'll start heading back to the house well that was disappointing they didn't have any user in there they had a user drink but no user itself and uh it was uh not even a slot for it so i looked it up on the app even now the ones in plano the uh, HEB in Plano, I do know I bought usually from there before. Trader Joe's also sells it. And I probably need to go to an Asian food market to pick up some. That might be a good but good idea to do that. But the one thing they had that I've never seen in the store, and I've actually gone to Asian markets to look for, is ginger juice. And I've used ginger juice to make a chicken dish. And it required that. That was a key ingredient for it. And... Uh, uh, because the ginger actually tenderizes the meat and makes it melt in your mouth with chicken thighs. Uh, so they have it here. I was pretty amazed. Uh, my way of getting around it was actually juicing ginger roots I picked up at the store. So it worked. It was a delicious dish. I did it one time and that was the first and last time I've actually made my own teriyaki sauce. Which if you can make it from scratch is so much better than in a bottle. It's something to try. It's only three ingredients. Soy sauce, which is actually four ingredients there. Um, uh, sake and mirin, which is a sweet rice wine. So all three of those, put it in a, in a skillet, cook it down, and that is gonna be the best teriyaki sauce you ever had. Don't get me wrong, I'm glad I got out, but it is really hot. My car temp is saying 104. I'm sure it's near 100 something right now. It has been parked for too terribly long. Uh, so, got to see New Park, got to, to go to a, uh, a, a an accounting bean location. I think they started in Central Texas. I'm not 100% sure. I just remember first going to one in Central Texas and uh, seeing all the camping equipment. I was really excited that they were selling Coleman stoves for a lot cheaper than you can find in other places. 
and uh, stopped at H-E-B, had a little disappointment, but had a surprise as well. No used sauce at this location. Uh, this is thir uh, 423 and 380. I think they might have it at the 380 location, or the Plano location. There's also a Frisco location. So I have to get back with you on that, see if it's still there. You know, some stores, they'll have different things at different places. And things might be a little bit different. Costco, same way, Walmart, same way, Target, you name it, they're all different. But uh, I'm gonna head on home here and uh, do something about my back that I pulled on that stupid elliptical machine. I don't know why I did that. I think I was just trying to be goofy and I ended up pulling my back out doing it, trying to hold a camera on there because there actually was a display. I was excited there was a display on the machine. So that's my fault. But uh, I hope to uh, see y'all here pretty soon. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm having fun doing it. But for now, y'all take care, be safe. Bye. did something to my back. All right, time to go in.